Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagat Mysore. Today I am going into the series of uh, Sun in different houses for Aries Ascendant. So I made a note on my uh, laptop. Uh, so I will tell you the bullet points and then explain it further so that it will be more uh, you know, detailed and having more clarity on it. Sun in the 6th house is what we will be discussing today. For Aries Ascendant, Sun, when it comes to the 6th house, it falls in the sign of Virgo. So, Sun, when it is in Virgo and in the 6th house, here when I am telling house, people should refer the Bhava Kundali, no doubt. But, here it is also Keeping in mind that if the Lagna is placed exactly in the center point of Aries, then the 6th house middle point, that is the midpoint of the 6th house will be placed in the midpoint of Virgo sign. Then what will happen? 15 degrees on either side, so with the whole of Virgo will be taken as the 6th house. Only then, the nakshatras in Virgo, so the nakshatras in Virgo are Uttara Abhulvini nakshatra, Hasta nakshatra and Chitta. So Chitta you have first quarter and second quarter, you have Hasta 1, 2, 3, 4, so you have finished 6 there, the remaining 3 are of Uttara Abhulvini, Uttara Abhulvini 2, 3 and 4. So starting from Uttara Palgadi 2, 3, 4, Hasta 1, 2, 3, 4 and then you have Chitta 1 and Chitta 2. So Sun when it is placed in this particular house, the 6th house and over these nakshatras, it gives various results. Hasta nakshatra, a very very nice soft beautiful nakshatra. Uttara Palgadi nakshatra, it's a Sun's own nakshatra. Chitta nakshatra is sun's friend's nakshatra, that is Mars nakshatra. So, let us take the sixth house, factors of the sixth house, what we call as significations, karakatva, and then try to merge it along with the karakatvas of sun. The sixth house is the house for competitiveness, House for service, house for hard work, house for loans, vanquishing enemies, how you actually, you know, behave with those who are trying to pull your leg in the society, trying to make your life difficult in the society. That is to be seen from the sixth house. It's not that everybody will go and fight. There are other methods also which is used to solve problems. So that is to be seen from the sixth house. Roga, that is illness, that also can be seen from the sixth house. So when Sun, the fifth Lord, mind it, it is the Lord of Leo. Fifth Lord being positive in the sixth house for one particular factor which is very important, that is the factor of higher education. And a factor of education by taking loans, going abroad, studying in different universities, going to hostels, doing higher studies, you know, education loan. A very, very good placement of sun in the sixth house. This is a fantastic placement for sun in the sixth house. Yes, sun in the sixth house will trouble the native by causing problems of health particularly the heart, why the fifth house is for the heart, sun represents the heart and when it is sitting in the Rogasthana, it, it might give problems of the cardiac. So, let me go to the bullet points. Highly competitive spirit, they are very bold and they are good in achieving peace by defeating enemies. So here the sun is a very strong planet. 
Kururagraha, what we call as a planet which is unbiased, merciless and very strong. So when that planet is sitting in the sixth house, enemies will fear, you know, they will not simply trouble this native. So they will have fear. So the competitive spirit is very high. These people can achieve a lot in their life. I, I personally like this particular placement of sun in the sixth house because a very strong, bright planet in the house of service. These people can do wonderful things. Bad in relationship with maternal uncles because the sixth house is also for maternal uncle. Because why it is bad here? Because it is the fifth in the sixth house. It is not that great because for the sixth house, the fifth becomes the twelfth house. So the twelfth lord in the lagna for the sixth house, taking the sixth house as the ascendant, it becomes a loss for the maternal uncle. So there might be difficulty with maternal uncle or uncles. Once again, a very strong personality, so he will have done hard work. Because of the hard work, he will have done it himself. That is more important. Wherever sun is posited, one should understand that this person will go through hardship to achieve that particular bhava. And that particular bhava here is the sixth house which is for service. So, very hard self-made, self-achieved person. You know, sometimes he will become self-centered also. Sixth house is good when he is good to most of the people around him, no doubt. But first, he will protect himself. The king has to retain the throne. And then only he will be able to serve his subjects. So that is how it is. He will first protect himself. So they earn money through many professions. You know, becoming a doctor, becoming an Ayurvedic doctor, becoming what we call as a Vaidya. Mathematician because it is very well posited in the house of Mercury and a teacher because it is the uh, Hasta Nakshatra, very beautiful Nakshatra, Uttara Palgadi Nakshatra, all these Nakshatras are Nakshatras of luminaries. So they can become very good teachers. They can also go into the uh, audit departments, the uh, what we call as uh, accounts department of the audit uh, auditing and accounts department cost verification department of the government sectors they are very good at that and uh, they are good in literature because central point of the virgo we have hasta nakshatra so have to take that particular nakshatra very seriously so whichever planet is sitting on chandra's as nakshatra whether it is hasta whether it is Shravana or Rohini, these planets will start acquiring the strength of moon that is literature, languages, fluency in language, scholarly, artistic and very, very peculiarly refined in their uh, taste, what they want in their life. They are very, very clear. So, these people are anyway because it is in the house of service they are highly service oriented they are uh, you know very good at teaching so what usually these people can do as a remedial measure is that they can do free coaching and free teaching to the deprived children they actually get a lot of peace of mind when they do this this is a very very beautiful uh, you know, remedial measure, you know, parihara for people who are in from Aries Lagda with sun in the sixth house in Aries. Uh, sorry, in Virgo. Sun in the sixth house in Virgo. That is from the Aries Lagda. Problems in Roga. Many problems when sun is in the sixth house uh, because it is the fifth lord. I told you one is the cardiac problem. The other one is piles. The third one, which is ulcer, then you get the gallbladders uh, problems, the stone in the kidney. You know, these things are painful problems. But still, when you compare to uh, other planetary placements in the sixth house, sun is much better. It gives you good health in the start 
and if you falter and go into bad practices only then sun will hit you but if you are in good practices and good routine sun will never trouble you when it is in the sixth house so usually people would want to work on field jobs that is practical jobs implementation jobs so as engineers as doctors they would want to be surgeons or as engineers they would want to be on the field on the in the assembly section in the factory where it is manufactured so they would want to see what's happening so they would want to be in the action these people don't want to sit and work you know in managerial jobs as age progresses they become managers but still they would want to be mostly in the, on the field so thank you very much for today's uh, class for sun in the 6th house for aries ascendant thank you